everyone this is Marissa again and welcome back to my channel in this video I will talk about the papers you need to get if you want to bring your pet here in America so here is my pet baby Ali she is six years old and going to be seven this June 2020 so what do you need to know and what are the papers you need to get let's start so the first one is the card as you can see the card has a picture of my pet. So this card is given to you by the Office of the City Veterinarian. So this is the first thing, the card. In the card, it shows the name of the dog, age, breed, sex, color, or markings if there are any, owner, of course, and the address. So what is inside this card? Inside this is the record of vaccination and immunization. Of course, with the signatures of the city veterinarian to prove that all these records are correct and legit. After this is the veterinary health certificate. Remember, you cannot get this without the card. In other words, you cannot be given the certificate without the record of vaccination and immunization because this health certificate would prove that your pet has undergone the vaccination and of course the immunization. We have the two. The third one is the certification again from a private doctor. The city veterinarian will not give you the certificate of the screw worm infestation which is very important in America and even in Europe. Screw worm infestation and any dangerous communicable animal diseases. According to the city veterinarian, this one would prove that the dog is clean. But when you go to Manila, this is very important. Another certificate from a private veterinarian. So do not forget that. You will have two certificates. This one from the government and the other one from a private veterinarian. So what does it say? This is to certify that my dog is free from screw worm infestation. America is very particular with a screw worm and as well as Europe according to the, my um, veterinarian here. Screw worm infestation at the same time, my dog is free from the evidence of any dangerous communicable animal diseases. And this is very important, signed by a private veterinarian. So we have two certificates and we have one card. Then. If you have all these, now you are ready to go to the airport. So my flight back then was 10 o'clock in the evening. So we were at the airport very early. We arrived at 6 o'clock in the evening so that we can accomplish all the paperwork before the scheduled flight. So then we went to the Bureau of Animal Industry at the Davao International Airport to get the shipping permit. So as you can see, this is the shipping permit. What are the things that you need to submit if you go to the airport? Of course, you will submit your certificates and your card. So they will check if your dog is really complete with vaccination. So then you will be given the shipping permit if your documents are all ready. Then remember, this shipping permit will just be good for Manila. This will not be accepted internationally. This is just the shipping permit that you can bring your dog to Manila. So from Davao to Manila. So again, our flight was 10 o'clock. Why 10 o'clock? Because that was the only aircraft by PAL which had the air condition for our dog because Ali, our dog, was separated from us when we went to Manila. She wasn't with us in the cabin. Please take note that the cargo should be well ventilated. So that was the time that was the only flight wherein the the room where we can place Ali was ventilated. That was the only aircraft on that day, July 3, 2019. So that that's the reason why we took that flight going to Manila, even if it was late, because of Ali. We arrived in Manila at 1 o'clock, so we took a rest for a little while. Then at 2 a.m. again, I went to the office of the Bureau of Animal Industry in the International Airport in Manila. So there, I brought all my paperwork, my card, 
the shipping permit from uh, Davao as well as the certificates. It was so fast to get the certificate from the Bureau of the Animal Industry in Manila because I had all the paperwork. So uh, when the paperwork is clear, so you will be given right away the veterinary health certificate. This certificate indicates the export certificate. So this is the certificate that allows you to bring your pet to America or anywhere in the world. Okay, so in here, it is certified that my dog is free from any diseases or that screw worm infestation, as I've said earlier. Now, based on my experience, we took the Asiana Airlines because that was the only flight back then that would allow us to be with our pet in, a, in the cabin, provided the weight should be below 7 kilograms. Luckily, when our dog was weighed in Manila, she just weighed 4.5 kilograms so she was with us all the way from manila to chicago airport she was with us in the cabin she was just in a bag a soft bag she was underneath the seat now how much did i pay or no i did not pay my husband paid for it because <laughs> i didn't have money you know my husband paid 200 dollars or 10,000 in pesos. Now, these are the documents that you need to get if you want to bring your pet here in America. If you want to know more about bringing your pets in anywhere in the world from the Philippines, log on to PetTravel.com to find out more about the guidelines. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button for notifications. And do not forget to share this video. As always, I want to help. Thank you. See you on the next video, which will be about things you need to do when you arrive here in America. Bye for now.